welcome back to my channel uh, we are asked to find the value of a divided by b if a plus b is equal to five roots a b first of all um let's clean this or let's leave it so that we know what we are looking for right a divided by b is equal to what now solution we have that a plus b is equal to 5 square root of a b now because of this square root sign we need to take square root of both sides so we need to square both sides not to remove the root sign okay square both sides so we have a plus b squared is equal to 5 root a b squared all right now a plus b all squared is a is an algebra identity and this algebra identity states that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 5 root ab squared now recall that a multiplied by b raised to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m okay all right so that means that we can solve this at a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 5 squared multiplied by root a b squared now in a special way i want to thank each and every one of you for your birthday wishes and for those that actually sent something to me with respect to my birthday victory in the scriptures trading guy mark a lincoln thank you guys so much may god replenish your pockets thank you very much i am grateful okay all right so this is where we are so we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 5 squared will give us 25 and root a b squared this remove this and we have a b okay now let us transfer this to the other side of the equation if we do that we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus 25ab is equal to 0. So we can arrange this as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab minus 25ab is equal to 0. So if we solve this, we are going to have a squared plus b squared sorry if we factorize or if we solve this more simplify sorry yeah so if we simplify this we have plus 2ab minus 25ab we give us minus 23ab is equal to zero now let us divide through by ab okay divide both sides by a b so if we do that we have a squared plus b squared minus 23 a b everything divided by a b is equal to zero divided by a b now note that this is the same thing as a squared divided by a b plus b squared divided by a b minus 23 a b divided by a b is equal to zero okay so if we solve this further we have a squared divided by a b a we cancel one a and we are left with a over b so we have a over b plus now here b we cancel one b here and we are left with b over a b over a 
minus here a b we cancel a b and we are left with 23 minus 23 is equal to zero all right now at this point we can say let a over b be equal to x yeah so that we can simplify this further and solve okay so if we say let a over b be equal to x then um it means that b over a is equal to 1 over x right now if we substitute this into this equation we will have x plus 1 over x minus 23 is equal to 0. Now, let us multiply through by x. Okay? Let's multiply through by x. Multiplying both sides by x. So we have x bracket x plus 1 over x minus 23 is equal to zero multiplied by x now this side is small so let me clean another side let me clean another side okay please click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us yes give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video and please don't just watch and pass like comment and share it means a lot to us because it helps the algorithm to push the video to people that need it more students so that more students can see it okay thank you very much so at this point let us start x times x we give us x squared x times plus one over x we give us plus one x times minus 23 we give us minus 23 x is equal to zero multiplied by x is still zero so you look at this notice that we have a quadratic equation now let's go ahead and arrange it the way it's supposed to be okay so we write x squared plus sorry minus 23x plus one is equal to zero now let's solve this using the quadratic equation formula now using the quadratic equation formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a remember that we are not looking for the value of x so stay tuned and see how we got the value of a over b using x okay so we have x is equal to now our a is the coefficient of x squared which is one our b is the coefficient of x which is minus 23 and our c is our constant which is plus one so if we solve further let me reduce this because i need as much space as possible okay so if we solve for that let's substitute these values into this place so we have x is equal to minus minus 23 plus or minus the square root of b squared is minus 23 squared okay minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 and c is 1 as well everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1 <laughs> so we have x is equal to minus times minus is plus so we are left with 23 plus or minus the square root of now 23 squared i can do this using one of my matrix if you need to learn more of matrix please check the playlist mass tricks on my channel you are going to see a lot a lot of them so i'm going to make use of one of them to find the square of 23 of 23 so we have 23 squared using the mass trick 3 squared 3 squared is 9 so i'll write 0 9 as a two digit figure 2 squared is 4 this side must not be two digits it can be one one digit now 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 2 is 12 we add 529 so it means that 
minus 23 squared is 529. So I have 529 minus 4 times 1 times 1 will still give us 4. So x is equal to 23 plus or minus, oh sorry, everything divided by 2, this 2. So we have 23 plus or minus the square root of 5 to 5, everything divided by 2. So x is equal to 23 plus or minus, now let's simplify 5 to 5, okay? When 3 divides this, we have 1, 1, remainder 2. Divides 22, we have 7, 7, remainder 1. Divides 15, we have 5. Now, how do I know that 5 to 5 is divisible by 3? If you add the digits, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, and 12 is divisible by 3. That is how I knew that once that this is divisible by 3. Now, using the same law of divisibility, if you check this, 1 plus 7 is 8, and 8 plus 5 is 13. So it simply means that this is not divisible by 3. So I'll switch to 5, because definitely if a number ends by 0 or 5, it is divisible by 5, okay? So I'll now use 5. Now when 17 is divided by 5, I'll have 33 remainder 2. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Now, 5 will go again to give me 7, 7 will go to give me 1. Now, how do I simplify this? This is square root. I will pair identical numbers. So, 5 times 5 is 25. And 3 times 7 is 21. So, it simply means that square root of 5 to 5 is equal to 25 multiplied by 21. I hope you've learned something new today. Let me know if you did by writing new on the comments. That will show me that you actually watch to this stage and you actually appreciated the method i just taught you okay thank you so that means we can replace this with 25 multiplied by 21 divided by 2 so our x then is equal to 23 plus or minus 5 root 21 divided by 2 now i want us to recall that a over b is equal to x okay a over b is equal to x. So that means that we can write that a over b is equal to, we replace it with this, 23 plus or minus 5 root 21 divided by 2. Now, if you look at the question, can you see that we are asked to find the value of a over b? That means that we have found it already. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.